Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Marquita here and today I'm going to be going through a few empties um, in the beauty and skincare realm and it's not too many but it's a few products that I have recently just finished up using and I want to share them with you because I know there'll be a few sales coming up. Ulta's doing their 21 Days of Beauty so you might see um, at least something from the brand on there and then a few are seasonal but also this season is the seasonal uh, is the season in which they are available. So I want to share those things with you. Some things are new um, to me as well. Are some things are new in terms of what you may have seen me uh, talk about before in the past. So this is my first time trying it and using it. And other items will be items that you've probably seen before. If you've seen any of my empty videos or even just seen me talk about any of my beauty and skincare favorites. So we'll go ahead and get into it i'll try to make a list in the description box just of the names of the products in case you're like oh i might like that but i will tell you the names and where i got it from or where you can find it or at least one place that you can uh find it because a lot of these things are available across multiple retailers so let's go ahead and get into it but before we do please be sure to like this video and subscribe so you can catch more content. Also, be sure to turn on your notifications so that you'll know whenever I drop a video. So in no particular order, we're going to start with one thing that I just finished and fell in love with, which is the Milk Makeup Vegan Cleanser. Um, it's the Vegan Milk Cleanser. This is the four ounce bottle. I got this from Sephora. Um, they also sell it at... Actually, no. I don't think Ulta has this or has milk products, but Sephora is where I got this from. And I got it at the end of last year, like the after Christmas sale where they marked down a bunch of items. And I actually have the container here. And this is just a daily cleanser that I use. You can use it also to remove makeup. I use it just as a regular cleanser, like in the morning when I get up. And so this is what it looks like. Um, the actual consistency is like a white... Um, I don't white. You can see it there. The little last bit. I use it this morning. The last of it this morning. So, um, it definitely does last a while because I think I started this in maybe mm, earlier at the beginning of summer or so. Like I've been using this for some months, and for it to be, um, this is the four ounce size, full size. And it is thirty dollars. Um, not on sale, but I think when I purchased it, I got it for like twenty two, twenty four bucks, because it was marked down on some kind of special. But it is a great cleanser. I love the way it makes my skin feel. So after I wash my face with this and just feel my skin, it's so soft. Like I was really shocked. I had never used this. Is my first milk product, milk makeup product, and I love it. Now I do have a lot of other cleansers right now and things that I am I'm doing what I call clear the stash so I'm trying not to buy too many new products if I don't actually need them or if it's not something that I absolutely feel like I need to try so I'm not going to be purchasing right away however when I do need a cleanser this is one that's on my list or if it goes on to a great sale like um, half off or you know during the the Sephora like 20% off whatever whatever like I would pick this up just to have it in my stash but I'm trying not to build up too many products before using what I already have but I definitely would recommend this cleanser I love it it has a little bit of a smell but not anything strong or overpowering and definitely nothing that lingers um it cleanses moisturizes soften softens and soothes and it absolutely did all of those things for my skin um and again like I said you can use it it's just your daily face wash it's gentle enough for that or you can use it um, if you have like makeup or whatnot and you want to use that too. Next up, since we're talking about skincare, um, Tatcha. This is the water cream. And as you guys can probably tell, this is the trial or travel size of it. I actually purchased during the um, last, I think like Sephora sale where you, depending on your ranking, you got anywhere from uh, 10 to 20% off. I'm in the middle. I'm a VIB. So I got 15% off my total purchase. And so I used it to get the two piece set that had this moisturizer and also it has the cleanser. I have not used the cleanser yet. That's probably going to be the next cleanser that I use. Like I said, I just finished milk today. So I am ready to start with a new cleanser. My face is not super, or my skin in general is not super sensitive in terms of trying products. So unless something has 
something really strong or really bad in it that um, my skin does not like. My face doesn't typically have too much of a problem. Like I don't break out too much. I might break out maybe the first day or two when I switch to a new product, if at all. But lately I haven't even seen that when I've switched products. So um, I don't expect anything, hopefully. This is the Lightweight Hydration Pore Refining uh, Wild Rose Scented Water Cream from Tatcha. And I have used it all. It definitely does moisturize. You guys can see it is completely empty. Like I was digging in there trying to get every little bit out. It's just a little hint moisturizer left. It's like a white cream, very lightweight, as it said. Um, but it is lightweight hydration. And I think for me, because I have combination uh, oily skin, meaning like the T-zone, that uh, lightweight hydration products are great for me in the summer. Because if I use something that is heavily moisturizing, um, in the summertime, it will make me get greasy and oily and all that. And we don't want that. So lightweight uh, moisturizers are great for me during the summer. And so this is a good one. It worked very well. My skin didn't feel dry and it still had a little bit of a shine to it, but not like a oily shine, just like a natural glow with things like this. So I really do, did like this. I don't know if I would necessarily go out and purchase like at regular price, a full size of this not because I don't like it but because um I feel like I can buy other products and get similar results for a lower price however if this goes on sale if um another set like this is available during one of their sales I would definitely use it again so would I recommend it yes does it work well absolutely but just saying that for the price we know that Tatcha has wonderful products but they also have um a kind of high price point depending on what your budget is for skincare so again tatcha the water cream definitely recommend and if you want to try it i think the set was on like 20 bucks for the moisturizer and cleanser set so it's a great way to try it if you don't want to drop you know all the money on a full size and test it out so i'll keep an eye out for more products from them i i've heard a lot of people say great things about tatcha so you know, you get what you pay for with them is from what I've seen. And continuing on the moisturizing train, um, this is the Belief True Aqua Balm. And it's in here because it's empty. So I'll go ahead and take this one out. This is the Belief, the True Cream Aqua Balm. This one is the lighter. I think there's one that has like intense hydration. This is just like the regular. Again, as you can see, I cleaned, cleaned this out okay i really love this it also has a kind of nice blue coloring to it but i really like this one um this has an increase in uh, hydration level again i think this one would actually be a good one for winter or as the weather cools off but it also didn't leave me too shiny too greasy in the summer so it's kind of a great balance i would say this is also good if you want to use it at night to just kind of keep that moisture in your skin. It's more of a serum -y, uh moisturizer. So while not super lightweight, it's lightweight enough for summer to not make you too greasy and too oily, but it's heavy enough to provide good moisture in your skin. So I would recommend this one. I actually purchased this from Ulta during another 21 days of beauty sale where it was like half off. I heard good things about it. I saw Jackie Ina recommend this product in the past. And so I, would probably buy it i would buy it again again on sale because this is another product that's a little bit pricier for moisturizers but again you get what you pay for it does last a pretty decent amount of time this one is actually the smaller one of the two sizes this is the 1.69 ounce uh jar and this lasted me a good time so i would say and i do this daily so at least once a day i'm moisturizing now if i wear makeup I do cleanse and then I will do the same process. So sometimes I would tap into it, but not very often do I wear makeup. But this is a smaller size and it lasts, at, I'd say, at least a good two to two months, maybe two and a half months. So when you think about cost, I also look at how long does something last? Because even if something is 40 or $50 and I only have to buy it twice a year, that to me is a great uh price and even if something lasts like three months if it lasts me at least three months at a higher end price point i don't have a problem with it but if it only lasts like a month and it's like 50 or 60 dollars that's a little bit different and the the last moisture well actually not the last moisturizer 
This is another moisturizer. This is one I'm currently using. This is the Tula Skincare 24-7 Moisture um, Hydrating Day and Night Cream. So you can use this, of course, both, all, both times a day. If you cleanse or moisturize twice a day, I only do, again, like I said, in the morning unless I have been wearing makeup. So this one, I had the trial size of this moisturizer and the clean, the matching cleanser. And I love both of them. So this was another purchase from Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. And they had it, you know, half off. So I purchased the full size. I'm currently using it now. But I want to share it because technically, yes, I did use it already. And I liked it enough to buy the full size of it because both items were trial size or travel size. So I would recommend this one as well. They have another one that is um, supposed to be more intense hydration. But when I read the reviews, people were saying that they found it to not, some people said that they found it to not be as hydrating as this one. And this one seemed to be a pretty good balance for me. And so far I'm liking it. Like I said, I'm wearing it right now. Keeps my skin feeling soft. It looks nice, not too shiny, not too oily. So I would recommend it. And it's actually a pretty affordable price point, even when it's not on sale. So I would recommend this as well. This blue and white is what they call like the cult collection because I think it was like the original line. Um, this is a 1.5 ounce size. So I would recommend that moisturizer as well. And since we're in moisturizer land, we'll go ahead and do the last one. And that is the Fenty Skin moisturizer this is no stranger to this channel you guys know i'm a fenty stan um i have used the three piece set where you have the cleanser the toner and this moisturizer so the one thing about fenty products a lot of them are um recyclable and so you keep the case and then you just purchase refills once you make your first purchase so the first time you buy it, you get everything and then after that you just buy the refills like this so i kept this one in just to share on here but now i can toss this um, these are 1.7 ounces, and this is the Fenty Skin Hydrovisor um, Invisible Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen Moisturizer. So it serves two purposes. You get your moisturizer in, and it also has 30 SPF sunscreen. So we love having protection, keep our skin looking nice. Kind of has like a pink color. It does have a little bit of a scent. I love scented things, so I'm not sensitive to them. It does not irritate my skin. But for those who are, just be aware that it does have a little bit of scent. To me, it does not linger. So once you apply it and it's rubbed in, it's gone, but you do smell it while you're applying it and using it. Um, they do make unscented products now. So if you're not a scent fan, you can just go ahead and get the unscented versions as well. And you can buy this separately or in the set. And when you do pop it in, you get the pump. As you can see, it's just a slight bit left. Not much. Um, so that is all for the moisturizers. But I do have one more facial product. And that is this toner. Which is the Glow Recipe. Um, what is this? The, water, the Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner. I used the last of this this morning or today as well and as you can tell this was the travel size i actually got this from sephora as part of my birthday gift it came with this and the um hydration drops the dewy dew drop i think it's called the dewy hydration i have not tried those yet but that's what came with this set and it was free because it was my birthday gift if you guys aren't familiar sephora um gives you a free birth a free gift during your birthday month and so this was one of the options. And since I had never tried Glow Recipe products, but heard very good things about them, I decided to pick this gift. And this is the toner, which I do like. Would I repurchase it? Yes. Um, am I going to repurchase it right away? No, because I have other toners that I am using and trying out. But I do, I did like it. I It definitely um, gave a little bit of a glow to my skin. I Like I said, I used it this morning. And it lasts for this to be such a small size. This is a 0.84 ounce. I use this for a good month or more, maybe like a month, month and a half. So just thinking about that, thinking about price point and the full size, like I think it would be a good investment and it doesn't take a lot to get the job done. So I really like that as well. It does have a scent, not super strong, goes away once uh, your product is, you know, rubbed in and dried as 
into your skin but just keep that in mind if you're someone who is sensitive to or just don't like scents but again I'm not that person so absolutely have no problems with it would I recommend yes would I buy it again yes and again this is the glow recipe watermelon glow PHA and BHA pore tight toner so you would put this on if you're not familiar with what a toner is you would put it on after you cleanse so my skincare routine is cleanse tone moisturize so I just have three products that I'm using three steps in my skincare routine that's all I do um some people do a little bit more I do have like vitamin c serums and other things like that I just haven't incorporated it it is a routine and I just haven't worked those other items in yet um but just know that that's my current routine if you ever wonder and it seems to work well for my skin luckily it's not super problematic don't have really any other issues I get a few pimples here and there especially during that time but other than that um, my skin is relatively clear all right we are almost at the end here now now we're transitioning from the skincare things that was it for skincare and we have the elf instant lift brow pencil now this is something that I have definitely featured on my channel before it is not new I have been using this for years they are three dollars at Target and you cannot beat that I use the color dark brown Let's see and I've been using that one but as you can see my hair is black but the dark brown is essentially black so if you have black uh, eyebrows then dark brown will work for you it comes with your uh, brush here and it also comes with a twist up shadow now this one is not empty because I accidentally threw away the empty before I shared it with you guys but I'm currently using this is just a new one I keep them in stock I usually buy multiples at a time and keep them in my makeup drawer so um yeah I would recommend this just a very simple they do make something very similar that also has the gel so if you need to do all of that extra they have those two and those are affordable so when you're talking like five dollars and under can't beat it this is again three dollars you can get it at Target pretty much anywhere elf products are sold speaking of elf we're gonna go to the next product which is these uh the lip glosses that came out from elf um this is the glow reviver lip oil um these came out when the whole lip oil fad was kind of blowing up and i i have tried a few different brands like what we would call drugstore brands i haven't tried any of the higher end ones yet um but the for drugstore brands i've tried uh the in the nyx or nyx brand and also this one and so I would say that of those two, I like this one. Um, the NYX ones are good too. I like the color payoff from the NYX one and they do still moisturize, but this one to me gives me everything I need. I, this color is, and I see here in somebody's car alarm is of course going off. It goes off guys, this car alarm, it goes off like multiple times a day and it's so ridiculous. I have no idea why. Um, but this Glow Reviver Lip Oil, it's $8. You can get it from Target. You can get it from Ulta. Just to name a couple of places. I love this color. I have a few different colors. And um, I've used, this is my favorite, followed by, they have like a red color. I've got the name of it. And I can't see the name because it's so clear. But I will put the name in the description. And like I said, these are great. Um, they do keep moisturizing. And these are also great when I just want to keep something on my lips but i don't necessarily want to use my more expensive products like my fenty lip glosses and things like that when i don't want to use those just to be around the house but i want to have my moisturized lips then i get the glow reviver lip oils and use those so these are great i usually keep them in whatever room i'm in whether it's in my office or if i'm out here hanging out in the living room then i tend to keep them with me or nearby you can also, you know, keep them in your purse as well. And for $8, it's a great, great thing. They they went viral and they sold out for a while, but now you can pretty much find them uh, anywhere. All right, we are getting down to the end. I got three more products for you. And two of them come from the same place. So I'm going to show them together. So this is the infamous Brazil Nut Body Butter and the accompanying body oil you actually get this from trader joe's and it comes in a three-piece set you can get 
um, the body oil, this small tin of the body butter, which I will show you guys that I pretty much cleaned that. Um, and then it also comes with like a body spray. Now that was a gift set that I got last year from Trader Joe's. I got two of them. So that's why I actually have, as you can see, I've used up this first tin. And then this is actually the second bottle of the oil that I just started because I already threw the first one away. Um, and I haven't really used as much of the body spray. However, I do like the oil, but it is like a dry oil. So while it does add like a little shine and whatnot, it's not necessarily the most moisturizing. Like I'm not ashy by any means. And like I said, I do have a little shine, not greasy, just the shine. But to me, it's not the most moisturizing. So I would probably not use this solely for moisture. Um, but I do like it. You get two ounces of this. You get three ounces of the lotion or the body butter in the tin. And the gift set, I believe, was like $12 a piece for the three pieces, the oil, this, and the body spray. And the body spray is also like a pretty decent size. It's probably like three, two or three ounces. So it's a big size bottle as well. Now, I think they do sell or they did sell the body butter as a full size, but it sold out so quickly. This was a viral product. Um, I want to say last, last year, I know it was, and maybe before that. And so I was lucky enough when I went in Trader Joe's and they had me and I went and scooped up a tube just to see what all the hype was about. The scent is not new, but people, again, like when TikTok finds something and they think they discovered something new, then it sells out for all of us normal people who have been buying it forever. So that's kind of what happens. And even the girl in Trader Joe's told me that she has the kind, they had to limit the purchase of the like regular body butter comes in like a regular jar, like most body butters. They had to limit it to like, I think two or four per person because people were coming in buying ridiculous amounts of it. But it comes out in the later cooler months and people lose their minds. So I would just say, you know, if you like it, be on the lookout, maybe ask for it, maybe ask when they think they'll be getting it in. Last thing here though, because this video is getting a little lengthy, um, the Sol de Janeiro uh, Chirosa 71. Now, again, as you can see, it's still pretty full even though I have been using this because these are filled to the top but you can see I put a little dent in that and honestly I was not a, a um, Sol de Janeiro girly like that like I know a lot of people were in love with the bum bum cream I'm really not a fan I've had it I tried it the smell is okay not anything I would go crazy about this is also supposed to be the dupe to that by the way I didn't mention but um, it, they do complement each other. So if you put on this body oil and body butter, this will complement that very well. And I typically, when I wear this, I layer it with the actual perfume of this, as well as this. Um, so I kind of do those three and it creates a great smell. I love that kind of, you get the nutty smell, but you also get like a, a be it just reminds me of being on the beach like it's a summer it gives me a summer smell and I don't care what time of year it is I love the beach so I can never get enough of it so I absolutely love this is my favorite one I had another one it was like the kind of red reddish one I gave that one away I didn't really care too much for it. it wasn't bad it just wasn't I like this one better so um the um notes in this are cozy cashmere with decadent notes of caramelized vanilla, toasted macadamia, and tonka bean. So this is my go-to. And like I said, I layer it with the perfume, um, the same perfume of this. And I also will layer it with this, um, like if I use the body butter. So that's my recommendation. I just wanted to share this one because this is something that can go along with this, which is a seasonal item. And this is the time in which it comes out. And like I said, this is a Trader Joe's product. So if you have a Trader Joe's near you, check them out for that product and it pairs very well with this um and this is something i would repurchase would recommend and a small size is pretty affordable you can get them at ulta or sephora thank you so much for watching please be sure to like and subscribe and let me know if you um if you have tried any of these products if you have been thinking about trying any of these products so let me know down below what your thoughts are on them especially if you have tried them or what are your thoughts about any of those brands. See you next time.